What's up, what's up? I want to show you guys how to use your GoPro Max to film video that's super smooth and looks amazing in your Oculus Quest 2. So this is my son's Oculus Quest 2, and this is the GoPro Max. You can get it for $400 or even used now for a lot cheaper. So you're going to need to film in the highest quality mode. There's two ways to film. Film in the 5.6K, 30 frames per second. And once you have that file, you can auto upload it to the GoPro Max software, which I really like to do when I get back from snowboarding. I just plug it in and it automatically connects and uploads. And then it comes here in the GoPro Media Library. I can choose up to 25 files, download these. And then if you do choose more than one, you export that from a zip file to a, a folder. These come um, filmed in a .360 file. And you can't really open that until you open up your GoPro player. So the GoPro player is something you download from GoPro as well online. And you open up your, your file. You can do a batch operation, which I like to do. I like to do all those files I just downloaded. I upload them into the GoPro player and I export them in a batch exporter. Um, or you can do a single file like this. And you choose 5.6K, Cineform, and this will come out in your 6K. Really high quality. If you choose Horizon Level and World Lock, to help it be smoother in your Oculus Quest 2. You're also going to want to turn on hardware encoding to speed that up. You're going to need a powerful computer. Mine wasn't good enough. It's an R7 from 2019, a few years ago. So I had to get on Amazon, and I'll show you what I purchased. I grabbed some new memory for 94 bucks, two different sticks of memory equaling 48 gigs. I already had two, six, two eight gig things on there, so now there's four slots. And you just got to make sure it's the same speed is what's in your computer then this right here this is a nvme pce pcie internal ssd so it's a fast hard drive the one that was on there was a two terabyte slow old school one and this one here it's super quick i used um soft macrum reflect to clone so you can look up macrum reflect the youtube video shows you how to clone your drive super easy once you get your drive ready to go and your computer fast enough this is what it'll look like. You're, when you're finally running your uh, software that will take it from 30 frames to 120 frames per second, it's going to be using a lot of CPU. It's going to get hot. It's going to need your memory, a lot of memory. Right now it's not, but um, it'll get up to a lot of memory and it'll use all your, your resources. So the other really thing I want to show you, really important thing I want to show you guys was how to export these uh, .mov files. The, the .mov file is what comes out of the GoPro player, then you need to, and they're pretty big, and then you need to turn that into 120 frames per second into a, an MP4 file that you can actually copy over to your Oculus Quest 2. You need to copy it over to Oculus Quest 2 instead of streaming it because it needs to run smooth when you're watching on Oculus, Oculus Quest 2. You need to download software called Skybox. It's $10 through, through Oculus Quest 2. That's one I used. It worked great. There's another one, great, but I've tried lots, and this is the one that works. So the other thing you're going to want to do is open up this flow frame software 1.36 is the software they let you if you become a patron the 1.32 works well also but i really like the 1.36 these are the settings you're going to need um oh right here you can see i'm doing a batch processing you can upload a bunch of those at once the settings are important it took me all week to figure out but you're going to want to open up your file the mov file and it's going to be it's going to come in at 30 frames per second and you're going to turn that up to four times. And this will use AI to make more frames in between. It looks amazing, 120 frames per second. Finally, the Oculus Quest 2 can be turned up to 120 frames per second. You do that in the experimentation mode. You also want to go to encoding settings, change this to JPEG, make sure you're on H265, and turn this up to 4320 so it could be in 6K. And then you run it, and it'll tell you how fast it'll take. You copy those files over to your Oculus Quest 2, and boom, you can watch yourself in a way you've never done before. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Later.